Hey everyone, Casey here from Clientric. In today's tutorial, I'm going to go into Zoho Canvas Builder, which is a new addition to Zoho CRM. It's going to be really cool what we can do here with the layout, and I'm going to show you here shortly. But for this tutorial, we're just going to give a very brief overview of it, and in the next tutorial, we'll dive in and actually create an example. So, this is what it looks like when you log into it, and I'll kind of tell you all about it. So we're logged into our CRM here, and if we scroll over to the settings section here, we can actually see this canvas builder under the customization tab. So if you click on that, we're going to see a bunch of new options. So we're going to be able to create a record detail page. And there's a video you can watch here as well. Um, we'll post that in the links below in the, uh, in the comments here, so please check that out. But in order to create a record detail page, you have to select which module. Um, we can select any of the modules we would like. So we can select leads, contacts, accounts, deals, etc., etc. There's tons of options there. Let's select the leads section. And you can even select which layout you want to apply it to. So right now, in this test account, we only have the standard layout. But if you, for example, if you had another layout that you want to apply it to, you definitely could. In this case, we'll just create it with that in mind. So once this pops up, you're going to see a new window with a bunch of different options, which we'll dive into. And so we can actually choose an example canvas if we would like, and we can also choose a blank canvas. Um, in our case, I can, I'll try to zoom in on a couple of these. You can see the detail that can be created with them. There's a lot of cool things. In our case, we would probably just want to create a blank blank template. We can also look at organization canvases, what other people have created, and uh, we can select one of these. So in this case, I will select just one of these just so I can quickly show you everything that you can do. And then we'll dive into our own in the next tutorial. So in this canvas, you could see a lot of um, related lists are now up here instead of being on the left hand side. There's a ton of options um, when it comes to what you can actually create. So if we click this data section, we can use all this information. We can pull this into different areas, drag and drop it. So if I just want to put my last name there under the product section, for whatever reason, it would show up there. We can also just delete that. But if we go back to the data, you can see that we have access to all of the data and all of the related list data, which is really, really cool. So we have related list data of campaigns and visits, so we can pull that in. We can also pull in actions, so an action like convert, that convert button that is on the lead to a deal, um, or lead to a contact account and a deal. We can clone, find and merge duplicates, all of these buttons that come standard in one form or another on that, on, on that module, you can actually put in somewhere. You can also create custom button, buttons anywhere you'd like. So we could throw in a custom button over here and we can make it say uh, whatever we want. So we'll just delete that for now. Now that's the data section. If we choose the elements section over here, you can see we have tabs, sections, tables, text, lines, and icons. So this right here is under the tab section and it switches to a different view every time we click it. So this is, this is this option here. Again, you could just drag and drop this tab and it ends up being this square here. For the section, let's get rid of that. For the section, it's basically a drag and drop. So we are going to drag it here and we are going to make it as big as we want. And we can also change the padding on it. We can change the radius on it so we can make it more circular, whatever it might be. We have a ton of options here on the actual style itself. And if we wanted to create a table, we could create a table here. We can add a column over here. And there's a lot of things we can do with that. Once we dive into it, I'll show you in, a, in, a, in more depth as we get through our tutorial. You can delete the column. You can do anything you want. And then icons. So we can bring in um, a certain number of icons. These are all the ones that are currently available. I'm sure they'll expand on that in the future. But in our case, we don't really want any of those. And yeah, that is basically an overview of what it can do. You can also create lines. So we would want to drag and drop the line in here and it would go underneath that section. So we now see that this data can be organized in any which way. And we can actually choose what kind of gradient, what kind of view, what kind of color we want. We can arrange the data in any way we so choose. And just to give you a example of what 
um, it looked like before. I'll take you there. And this is a user demo I created in a previous tutorial. But this is what it looks like currently. Now, if we look at the Canvas view, this is what it would look like uh, with the new Canvas applied. So as you can see, there's quite a drastic change here. And it gives you um, a ton of customizability where you can choose what information you would like to display and how you want to display it. So it's really cool. I think it's gonna be super powerful to allow businesses like yourself to really organize the data and the information in a way that makes sense for your business. I know not everyone likes the user interface that Zoho has and instead of just changing it, they've actually gotten one step further and they have been able to allow you to create your own user interface when looking at this information. So that is everything for us for now. Uh, look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial when we actually start to build one of these out. Bye for now.